God's timing is rarely our timing, which is why one of the most frequent cries in the Psalms is, how long? How long? Why not now, God? What possible reason could you have for making this protracted suffering even longer? Faith is at least in part the ability to trust that if you knew everything God knew, and if you understood everything God understood, and if you could see everything God sees, you would say, that's right. It takes faith to believe that because our vision is so limited and our pain can seem so long. But if we knew what God knew and could see what God sees, we would say, of course. Of course I see why that had to happen to, to, to him and to them and to her and to that country and that people and that decision and that thing. God knew what he was doing. I love what the commentator Victor Hamilton says, God's delays are not necessarily God's denials. And as some of you endure what seems like a long period of God's delay, 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 know that it is not necessarily His denial. When thoughts tell you it's too late, it's never going to happen now, let that go in one ear and out the other. God is faithful. What He promised you is still in route. You may not see any sign of it. Every circumstance says there's no way. Things are happening that you can't see. In the unseen realm, God is moving the wrong people out of the way, lining up the healing, the favor, the good breaks. They're already on your schedule. But here's the key. If you could see how it was going to happen, that wouldn't take any faith. God can use anything and anybody to get you where he wants to take you. And so I just came to tell somebody who came in here feeling for your, sorry for yourself and came in here just feeling, woe is me, never, nothing good ever happens to me. I'm never, I'm always the last one hired and the first one fired. I'm always, and you, and you got your little sad song that you've loved uh, uh, to sing. I came to tell you, pick up the needle, put on a new song. I am who God said I am. Time for you to quit disqualifying yourself. Some of us disqualify ourselves before we ever show up. I serve a God who can give me a job I'm not technically qualified for. But because I'm in his bloodline, if he wills me to work there, he's going to put me there no matter how he gets me there. But sometimes your plan and God's plan are two different things. Oh, I came to tell you, you got, don't worry about your plan. When yours falls apart, that just means it wasn't God's. That's all it means. Somebody needs to take that with you. When it doesn't work out the way you thought it would work out, that just means that wasn't God's way. That's all it means. Don't get desperate. Don't get frustrated. Don't Certainly don't get mad at God. He didn't give you the plan. You had the plan. Sometimes we give God our deadlines and get mad when he doesn't meet them. Oh, but God does things in his own way. His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. And so you got to learn to walk by faith. Promises that you've given up on, dreams you've let go of, you've accepted it's too late to accomplish that goal, too late to break the addiction, too late to have a baby. That may be true looking at a normal schedule. You don't see it on there, but God is saying it's still on my schedule. I still have a way to bring it to pass. I wouldn't have promised it if I wasn't going to do it. Now, all through the day, Father, thank you that what you started in my life, you're going to finish. It may seem too late for me, but I know it's not too late for you. Thank you for these unscheduled blessings, blessings out of season. I came to tell you your timeline is in the hand of your God. He knows what he started in your life. He knows where he's taking you. And you got to walk by faith and not by sight and stop getting mad at all the people around you. It's not their job to elevate your life. God is the one who will exalt you in good time. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God 
in due season, when the time is right, he will exalt you. Don't ever mistake your feeling of urgency. Don't ever mistake your feeling of urgency for purpose from God. Your urgency, your sense of having to do something should can deceive you into thinking that's your purpose from God. I've got to do this right now. But here's the thing. You feel urgency and I feel urgency, but God does not. It doesn't mean that your urgency is felt by God. God may put something urgent in your life. But here's the reality. Your urgency doesn't mean that God also feels it. When we handle things ourselves and don't trust in God's timing, we always make things worse. Right? Isn't that what we do? We help things along. We try to find a way to get the ball rolling. I, you know, I know God spoke this, but you know, it seems like God needs a little help. So, you know, lean in and get the ball rolling. Come up with some solutions. We don't understand how God could do something. But remember, he's God. He works in supernatural ways, often using natural systems, but he does things above creation. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Just because it seems like God is too late doesn't mean that he's not going to come through. Don't be fooled by the circumstances. You may not see anything. The odds are against you. The experts say it's not going to work out. God controls the universe. Don't be impatient for him to act. Keep believing, keep praying, and every blessing that belongs to you will show up. You won't have to go after it. It's going to come to you. It's going to happen at the time God has planned. Have you given up hope? Have you given up hope? Did God speak something to you and you look at it and say, there is no physical, real way that this could happen. Scientifically, emotionally, whatever. There's no way this could happen. This word of God that was given to me, there's no way it could happen. You're in the perfect place for God to show up and speak into your desolation the word that he has, which is hope that his word never returns void, that his purposes and his plans for you will not be thwarted. He is God, and when he speaks it, it is so. Just check out the first narrative of scripture in the creation of all things. He spoke it. When God speaks, it comes to be. But we are limited by time, and we look at it and we know that time matters to us. It matters, we are looking at time linearly. I do not believe that God does. God looks in from eternity. Time is something God created. He's not subservient to it, he uses it. He gave us all the numerology that's in the Bible, the seven days being so significant, six days and a rest. And the whole like rhythm of the earth in its seasons. God, of course, uses time, but God is not subservient to it. God is eternal. He is the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. He was, he is, and he will be. He is outside of time. He is God. So remind yourself that when God speaks, it will come to be but it doesn't mean that it'll happen tomorrow. God doesn't do things on a normal schedule, a normal time frame. He has some unscheduled blessings for you, things that are out of season, out of the ordinary, that shouldn't happen now. The medical report says it's too late. The financial experts say things should be down. That's when God steps in and says, let me show you who I am. I'm not limited by time. I'm not affected by the economy. I'm not restricted by your age, your background, the opposition, by how long it's been. I control the universe. When I speak, wombs come back to life. When I speak, red seas part. When I speak, sicknesses leave. When I speak, addictions are broken, marriages are restored, opportunities show up. Remember, every calling Every pull into something is a journey of faith based on his timing, 
not yours. We cannot engineer a life of faith. Hear that, church. You cannot engineer a life of faithful obedience. You can only live into it. Trust Him when you don't see anything happening. Believe when heaven is silent. He's working behind the scenes. Every blessing that has your name on it, if you will be patient, it's not only going to find you, it's going to be much better than you think. Friends, know this. Your life is purposeful, but we have to wait on His perfect timing. We may not understand God's timing, but we can trust His character. Will we be courageously obedient even when we have to wait? And here's the thing, if you won't say yes to it, you'll never get to see the fulfillment of God. You will have to wait in courageous obedience for the word of the Lord to come to pass. He works out his plans and purposes in us. Nothing, I want want this to be the final words you hear, nothing is wasted when we trust in God's timing. He is the God who says, I will give you beauty for ashes. I will give you the oil of joy in your time of mourning and grief. Only God can do that. Only God can redeem time spent waiting, time spent hopeless. God is the God who invites us to believe in his character above and beyond our circumstances. Nothing is wasted when we wait on our faithful God's timing to reach its fulfillment.